Sam and Dana Mitchell have been caring for more than 30 injured koalas since the tragic fires struck Kangaroo Island last month. And the wildlife park owners join us now. Sam and Dana, thank you so much for your time and the amazing work that you're doing. Can you just give us a bit of an idea of how much devastation these fires have caused, not just the local people, but to the animals there as well? Uh, yeah, it's, it's um, been pretty devastating to everyone. Um, you know, over 200,000 hectares have been wiped out and the amount of um, livestock and fencing and that was wiped out with that was um, huge. And then, of course, the, the animal numbers have suffered dramatically, so we've lost about 80% of the koala's habitat um, and probably around 80% of our koalas with that. And, and of course, there's the other species as well, which are echidnas, possums, um, bandicoots, kangaroos, wallabies. Um, and yeah, we've seen over 500 come through our doors in the past month, that uh, rescued koalas. That little koala there you're feeding sounds remarkably like a little child. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That might be the little child in the background there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, that's, who's that little one there? Uh, so that's our son, Connor. Connor. Um, wow, well, yeah. your dogs. Just, yeah, it's like a menagerie. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's Animals everywhere. Oh, it's that's so. What 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 impact has it had on on your home life? I mean, obviously you're used to this sort of thing, but but this is a lot of creatures to care for as well as your own domestic pets. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got the business here, which is the wildlife park. Um, we live on site. Um, all of the Cute. rescues. Uh, about 30 metres from our back door, so we've got um, over 200 koalas pretty much in our backyard, and then and then the 30 orphans, which we're oh. uh, bottle feeding in the house at the moment. So, yeah, um, oh. and it takes us quite some time. You know, the, the last feeding's done close to midnight, and it takes us about an hour and a half to, to get through them all. Wow. Um, and then up first thing in the morning and do it all again. Far out. So when you heard news that you were going to be built a new nursery, the blockheads were coming in to lend a hand, what was your reaction? Yeah. Oh, I was a bit... Um, I didn't think they'd pull it off, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you know, it was only a few days ago we first spoke about it and uh, the biggest thing for us is, you know, we always had plans in getting it up and running, but it could have taken us months. We're trying to look after all these animals. Mm. Um, we've got to treat these guys every day, change their bandages and, and to get it done as fast as these guys can get it done, there's just no way. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be incredible to, to be able to shift some of these animals in there. and um, Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Guys, Pretty you would... exciting when they showed up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you would have heard this news out of Victoria. I'm not sure um, uh, how much detail you know, but there has been an awful situation in Victoria where, where a number of koalas, in fact, I think hundreds of koalas, <laughs> have been decimated and when you hear those stories and when you see what you're trying to do there, um, how does that make you feel about, uh, about uh, I guess, trying to replenish the koala population? Oh, it's not real nice. I mean, um, we're doing everything we can to save as many koalas as we can and, yeah. and unfortunately a lot of them don't make it here as well. The, the burns are too severe so when something like that can be avoided, it's it's not nice to sit there and watch it, um, yeah, koalas yeah, just getting squashed in the trees for, for no reason at all. Like yeah. I said, it can, can be avoided, so... All right, my friend. Well, listen, um, I think we're going to see you very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but thank you for your time today, and we'll let you go back to that very busy household. I mean, parents around the country think they've got yeah. it busy. <laughs> add, add, add a couple of dozen koalas in with it, and you guys have got the busiest household yeah. in Australia. Thank you for everything you're doing. That's it. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. Thank you very much.